got this here for that uh, pipeline for your aqueduct from here to Ada. All of the water that Ada uses is delivered by gravity flow. It's, it's kind of the envy of most of the towns of this size in the state and in the country if they do about it. There's really no energy put into the system until they have to turn on that chlorine valve on the tank just a little bit to keep the regulators happy. Uh, and then they have to add a little money to it uh, in terms of electricity to pump it up to their towers. But up until that point, there's basically free water. Infrastructure is crumbling now in the process of uh, putting in some new aqueducts, or at least a new aqueduct they're, they're shutting that right now. And while I'm thinking about it, there's Dick Scal. Dick Scal, right behind you, is a gentleman hat. Um, Dick is the mayor of the city of Ada right now. And Dick was at Kerr Lab for a very long time. For, I don't know when he started, mid-70s, probably early 70s, the 60s. Okay. Up to uh, mid 90s, 95. Okay, so he was there thick and thin. Dick was my branch chief for a decade at least. He was the director of research for a long period of time. So he has a unique understanding about this resource. And uh, thank you, Dick, for letting us come in here. I wanted to express our gratitude. It's off limits all the time, it's locked up tight. Uh, the electric gates don't work most of the time, but you can see it, it at least looks like it's highly guarded. Um, people, this was a free park at one point, it was open to the public, but uh, due to the fears of litigation, the city was forced to close it down, and, and but now we occasionally we come out of business like this. So, continue the rambling.